Hello, everybody. Welcome to Elite Wine TV. I am your host, Mark Fusco, here for yet another episode. And uh, today, we've got the Opera uh, Prima 2008 Shiraz. Uh, this is from Spain, and it was $4.97. Woo, that was a healthy pour for a rinse. $4.97 at World Market. What do you know? I got it all in for once. All right, so a little rinse here from yesterday's wine. Whoop. Anyway, uh, so let's check it out. It is 100% uh, Shiraz, or Syrah, actually, they they use on their website to talk about the, the grape. Um, wow, man, it's a lot of perfume coming off of this. Not perfume, but a lot of aromas. I didn't look at the back, really. Yeah, we'll get to it in a second. So this is from the La Mancha part of Spain. That's the D.O., uh, see the equivalent of an, of an AOC or an AC wine from France. Uh, about, that, about that level, or uh, D.O.C. from Italy. Man, I'm getting lots of, like, buttered popcorn-ish. Now I'm starting to get a little spice in it. Not spiciness, but spice. But that butter really is coming through. I mean, it, it, just off the nose, I think I'm drinking that Cullen Bell from Southwest France. Or South, yeah, Southwest France. Um, which I have a Cullen Bell white coming up eventually. I bought the uh, white finally. Yeah, the butter's starting to go away a little bit, so I'm getting more of the spiciness and the spices. But it's there. Let's kind of a little bit of smoke, too. For a $5 bottle of wine, I'm sure getting a lot out of it. All right, let's check it out. Oh, wow. So it's a little hot. You get a little little bit of heat. And I don't know what the... I don't know. It's only 13%. But I'm getting... I got a little bit of heat off of it. But yeah, I got a flavor of that... It's like some, spi it's kind of like spicy fruit. And I don't mean spicy hot, like, like peppers. But, man, I had gotten like this hint of something that um, I hadn't really had before in a while. I like this one. I like this one a lot. Uh, it, it really fits my palate. And, um. While the, the one I did last week, the, um, oh, I can't remember what it was now. It was a $8 bottle of wine, but we were talking about it could be like a house wine for us. I think this one will, this one could be a house wine for us too, uh, for a red. We, no tro is our kind of house wine because this, you know, for five bucks is pretty decent. I think this one could be. See, so, yeah, I mean, it's, it's like having... I want to say I had gotten like strawberries out of it with adding like, like not cinnamon, but, um, a, a similar, a similar spice to it. Um, maybe ginger, maybe some ginger. Um, I think that might've been what I was getting and I was like, Yeah, I mean, there's 
there's there's some good fruit coming through. It's it's, it's a little bit sweet, uh, not a lot of tannin, so it's not going to kill you on the tannin side. Um, it's it's a little thin though. Now now that I've tasted it a little bit and I got off over the initial like uh, flavors, it feels like the flavors have kind of diluted. It's kind of getting a little thin now. It's not as good as I as my initial. Um, so I'm sorry, this is my initial taste, but it's still pretty good. But it's it's starting to kind of be a little thin. I was going to score it really high initially, but now I, I think I think I'm going to give it like an 85, just because it's um, it's starting to become not as good. But that initial taste was pretty spectacular. Hmm. On the bouquet, it, it was kind of like, it was almost a little funky. Like, not moldy, not moldy like bad, like a cork wine, but kind of a little funk. But yeah, the, the, the palate is starting to become more fruity, not as exciting as it was initially. Um, I'm starting to not like the wine as much, and it might be just, I don't know, maybe it's opening up in a bad way and it's becoming a little thinner it's starting to it's starting to kind of taste more like just flavored water uh, I'm gonna say maybe not an 85 I'm gonna say probably an 82 yeah 82 and uh, we'll just go with that uh, if it changes I'll say something about it anyway let's go let's go through this um, the bottlers Jake Garcia uh, I guess it's Carrion um, it's imported by, uh, I forgot, imported by CIV in, U in the USA. They don't really have much on their website about this wine, but uh, Jay Garcia Carrion, um, they have it just listed. There's really no information about who they are, but they're the bottler in Spain. It's the La Mancha Dio. Um, one thing about that, about the, that particular Dio in Spain, it's the largest contiguous vine growing area in the world, and it's in the central part of Spain. I don't really want to give this a bad. You know, 82 isn't horrible, but I would have liked to have given it like an 88. Yeah, it, it's 82 is probably a good score. It's not bad. It's five bucks, and I think it seemed like a. It's it, it tastes kind of diluted. Oh well. That's going to be it for today. Uh, make sure you friend me up on Twitter, Facebook, all that fun stuff. I've been getting some people asking about the Skype uh, interviews. I'll be getting back with you on a couple of you. We've already kind of talked about a few things. As a matter of fact, I'm supposed to talk to somebody today. I think it's more of an interview. Not He's not a winemaker. Uh, he's a writer, so we're going to maybe talk about oh, via Skype um, about some of the stuff I just remembered. And i um, got another winery that's interested. So if you're interested in doing some virtual tastings that involve you sending me one bottle of wine. I'm not asking for a ton. Um, just make sure it's a wine that you're proud of and that you hope will show well. Uh, we will do a virtual tasting and talk about your winery and the wine. Uh, and if you want to, just and if you're interested, email me. Or you can contact me on Twitter, either way. Uh, that's going to be it for today. Uh, we'll see everybody again next week. Make sure you uh, check the website tomorrow for Sommelier School, the introduction to Italian wines. And uh, that's it. Oh, and I got a new toy last week. Yes, I upgraded. Later.